Notre Dame is known for having one of the largest and most active alumni clubs in the country. The same can be said for former Notre Dame student athletes through the Monogram Club. There are more than 8,000 living Notre Dame Monogram winners, more than 4,500 of whom are active dues-paying members of the Monogram Club. The club keeps its members up to date on what's going on with Notre Dame athletics in many different ways, including written materials and numerous events both on and off campus. Our second guest today is the man who oversees the Monogram Club and its talented staff, 2001 Notre Dame graduate and baseball monogram winner Branust, who has been kind enough to join us here on the Jack Swarbrick Show this week. Brant, thanks so much for joining us. Um, there are a host of things we want to talk about and eager to get to them, but I think the end introduction set up the most important. How do we get Joe to be a dues-paying member of the monogram <laughs> club? It's what, always what, about the money. What, <laughs> what, 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 what does he have to do to sign up to, to be dues-paying? I think I think Joe coming by the office, uh, you know, we'll sit down and have that conversation. He, Joe's still got a lot of uh, work and exciting things ahead of him here while, <laughs> while he's a, a current student-athlete in Notre Dame. But, uh, you know, do, uh, Joe has the best – example of a deuce paying representative in his own family there you in, go, in yeah. dr greg lopez there you go. a 2005 uh, former baseball monogram winner here so hey, I, I don't see that being an issue for, just for greg he still is i think the record holder in fuely percentage in a career I he think, could he could pick it i think i think that's i think that is still there so now i'm gonna get a better christmas gift for, <laughs> for somehow fitting that into we, the broadcast we, we should explain the relationship oh yeah well so yeah so my sister my older sister Catherine, uh went to notre name graduated um graduated in 2006 I'm um, married my brother-in-law, Greg Lopez, uh, who, uh, Dr. Greg Lopez now, uh, gave up on his baseball dreams after uh, getting injured. Uh, but he was a captain of the baseball team. Yep. Um, they won the Big East Championship, I think, four times mm -hmm. uh, while he was here. Uh, Two-time captain, rather. And, um, and so now, uh, now, he's just, now he's a father, just like you are. Yeah, and uh, you guys get to hang out when he comes into town, which is cool. So, and uh, a very, very proud brother-in-law every, yeah. every home football weekend as, as we see all of the kids decked out in the <laughs> Joe Schmidt jerseys. Uncle Joe. Yeah, they're, they're the best. I, I really am so fortunate. So um, I, if, I, if there was any other sport I could play at Notre Dame, it would, be, it would have been baseball. Um, and uh, so it's, it's been fun to kind of be, you know, be involved with the, with the program and watch them, as, watch them grow. They're doing great things over there. So Absolutely. Yeah. You know, the introduction talked a little bit about <clears throat> you keep helping us to keep the former monogram winners connected uh, to the university. But important role the club plays is supporting the current student athletes. Talk to us a little bit about the activities that the club engages in that benefit Joe and, and others. Absolutely. And it's been a real benefit to, to being a member of the Monogram Club is they see the immediate uh, impact that they can have on the current student, student athletes' lives and making uh, an already unique experience even more so. Uh, we host uh, two letter jacket ceremonies each, each year, one for the fall, one for the spring where it's uh, you're receiving your first monogram and, and there are a lot of different stories to that point it could be right after a, a very successful freshman year it could be something you've f fought and, and trained and, and earned your way as a senior and so just that by definition of, of receiving that first monogram is a special ceremony and a special event uh, we've worked more and more now to supply and, and be able to provide unique opportunities as part of team hosting opportunities when teams either are on the road here domestically or as part of their foreign trips as well. The Monogram Club is able to support for unique ventures like white water rafting in Italy for the women's lacrosse team or a tour of the Miami Zoo for the women's basketball team uh, last year as well too. Uh, and then we work each year in, in, in a neat way to kind of transition our graduating student uh, senior student athletes to life after Notre Dame during commencement weekend by hosting the fourth quarter farewell, which is a, a final opportunity them, for them to be teammates, to be with their coaches, administrators, and, and family as they uh, embark upon the next uh, steps of their careers. And, and you've worked hard to build a mentoring program, too, that connects former monogram winners with current students, right? Correct. And, and that has been a front and center initiative from our board and our membership. Um, you know, there, there are tangible ways to give back, but I think there are ways of your time, your, your experiences um, that align with the current student athletes. Uh, and that's been really meaningful for our membership. And we've traveled the country to uh, recruit advocates, monogram winners in various fields and, and professional pursuits that are willing to, from a 15 minute phone call to a, to a sophomore juniors trying to navigate their, uh, the career discernment process to uh, having meaningful sit downs and, and trying to create or, or, or see where unique internships or externships can be created that fit the demands of, uh, the unique demands of, of student athlete schedules. With, with the Monogram Club, I think, um, you know, it's always kind of, I feel like it's always just said like, oh, I was a Monogram winner at, at the University of Notre Dame. And, and I don't know if really people understand what that, 
what that really means um, a lot of the time and, and how maybe difficult it is to kind of get a monogram. Can you kind of go over maybe, and I know it, it, I think it varies from sport to sport on how you at- obtain a monogram, uh, but maybe go over like what the requirements are to become like, a letter winner here at Notre Dame. Well, it's, it's more than just participation. Right. Uh, and each sport has a, a kind of a, a unique set of, uh, um, you know, minutes played or, or innings pitched or whatever it may be that, that help. Ultimately, it's the head coach's decision. The head coach knows their student athletes the best. They know that though somebody might have not been in the starting five or maybe never made a starting lineup in their or four or five years here, but the contributions made uh, both in practice uh, in the clubhouse or locker room, in, in the classroom, are all part of a successful program. So ultimately, there's a process that uh, starts with the head coach and involves many other campus uh, entities, but it, it is something that isn't just handed out. And, and we feel uh, that when you do earn your first monogram, club, you, uh, monogram, you actually are earning it, and, and we see that on the looks a lot of the faces of those uh, during those ceremonies. Um. There are versions of this uh, enterprise around the country and other schools, but uh, in many ways, this is sort of the standard bearer for for monogram or letter associations, isn't it? Correct. Uh, you know, we're in a very fortunate uh, position to be an industry leader for, for national letter winners uh, associations, and, and there is an actual conference of uh, wow. uh, many schools. You'd be surprised at some schools that where they're at in the process, schools with a lot of uh, rich tradition in, in their athletics uh, that maybe are just getting going on, on recognizing and, and realizing the importance of this connection to their former student athletes. And Notre Dame, you know, this far predates my, my time coming back in, into this position, but the Monogram Club has been that industry leader. Uh, there are a lot of things uh, that we share and that have been borrowed um, from the Monogram Club, and we, we, uh, we are carrying the flag is the importance of, of a, an association of a, of a group for your letter winners. And um, more and more nationally, I think universities and athletics departments are, are realizing the important of that, the importance of that connection. Do you think that it's, it's because, uh, you know, the Notre Dame's success uh, with, their, with its monogram club, do you think it's because of the kind of person that Notre Dame attracts, or is it something that the, mon- the past monogram directors and yourself have done, um, you know, to kind of create this, this kind of culture? Yeah, I... All of the above, and, and I'll be biased. I think that the unique uh, aspects of a, of a Notre Dame student athlete uh, speak for themselves. The demands, the rigors uh, of, of doing things the, the right way, doing it the best, the championship level, both in the classroom and, and on the field or on the uh, field of competition, um, really make letter winners for Notre Dame or monogram winners uh, uh, cut above the rest. Uh, and obviously, I'm sitting here with a table of monogram winners himself. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, but mine was honorary. No, <laughs> we, we accept all. Right? <laughs> I know. Uh, but yes, I think there there are uniquenesses <laughs> here and challenges that um, uh, maybe aren't faced uh, amongst other student athletes at, at other institutions. And so, uh, yeah, I think I think it's a little more special. I think he earned his monogram. Absolutely. I, I was going to say, I, I think he earned his monogram. And I, I, I want to continue to stay in nice hotels when we, uh, we go on the road. So you definitely earned your monogram, it's Jack. As, it's, as, it's as honorary as it gets, believe me. <laughs> so talk a little bit about the 100-year uh, the celebration uh, that's going on right now with our monogram, you know, 100 years of our monogram club and, and what's going on right now because of it. 100 years, uh, Jesse Harper, Newt Rockney, two uh, very uh, well-known names of Notre Dame Athletics and, and the university uh, first started the club as kind of a, a football letter winners association and uh, just kind of a, a, a gathering post-game talking X's and O's and things of that nature and we've come a long way. Uh, we've come a long way in, in, the, in the 100 years. 2016 will be the actual 100-year uh, celebration. We, we kicked it off a little earlier uh, this fall with the Georgia Tech weekend but it's an opportunity to for us to shine a spotlight on the club, the impact that, that it's not only had with current student athletes, but also the impact that our monogram winners are having beyond the walls of Notre Dame, so to speak. And there's so many great stories out there and, and so many stories to tell, um, many that are already well known, some that aren't. And it's uh, our duty as a, as a club and as an organization to tell that story of the club, uh, as well as you know, look forward to the next 100 years, which Joe, you're gonna be a, a strong part of as well. <laughs> But uh, an exciting time. We're looking to not only have a lot of events here, both on campus for Monogram Club members as they come back, but also to take some events on the road. Recently, we had a, a really open golf outing this past Friday and, and uh, prior to the Stanford game out at TPC Harding Park uh, out there. And just look to be creative uh, to 
kind of uh, put the, the club on a, a pedestal and, and celebrate this 100 years while at the same time looking forward to the exciting uh, initiatives and programs we have ahead of us. Well, uh, it, the, the club is a really important resource to what we do here at Notre Dame. Um, we appreciate all you do to help make it uh, the, the leader that it is uh, uh, among universities. And we look forward to the next 100 years. Thanks for your leadership. Absolutely. Thank you, Jack. And thanks That's for great. Joe. It's uh, been a pleasure to be on the show. We will, we'll be back in a minute.